everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own ice cream cone using bulky yarn. Like and subscribe for more tutorials and let's get started. For this project you're going to need some essential materials such as your number six bulky yarn. Here I'm using Blanket Yarn by Bernat Baby in a few different colors which I will link in the description. And you'll also want some dark brown medium worsted yarn for the facial features and some of the toppings. Size 8 and 2.75 millimeter hook. Here I'm using Clover Amour hooks and I absolutely love the glide and how light and ergonomic these handles are. We'll need an extra sharp pair of scissors, a stitch marker so we don't lose count, a darning needle will also come in handy, and 12 millimeter safety eyes. We'll also need a hot glue gun, and last but not least, we'll need lots of stuffing. I'm gonna make my strawberry ice cream, and so for this, I'm gonna use my pink blanket yarn and make a magic circle, and make six single crochet stitches. I am using the yarn under and over method to create the slanted X-shaped stitches, but you can single crochet however you'd like to. Let's just double check here. Six, all right, and pull your circle closed. Round two, we are going to increase in every single stitch. So after I make my first initial single crochet stitch, I'm going to put my stitch marker in it so we don't lose count. So I'm going to single crochet in the same stitch and then make an increase in every single stitch around. At the very end, we're going to want a total of 12 stitches. Let's go ahead and count. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. It can be a little bit tricky to see the V-shaped stitches in fuzzy yarn like this, and definitely recommend getting used to identifying stitches in worsted weight before you move on to chunky weight. Remove our stitch marker and let's begin round three. For round three, we're going to single crochet and increase in every other stitch. And so let's go ahead and make our first stitch and insert our stitch marker. So that was our first single crochet and we're going to increase in the next. Single crochet, increase in the next. Single crochet, Increase in the next, single crochet, increase in the next. And at this point, you might notice that your piece is starting to curl, and that's okay. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna pop our work out so that we're not crocheting in like a bowl shape. Remove the stitch marker. Round four, we're going to single crochet, increase and single crochet in every other stitch. This is going to help stagger our increases so we don't get that hexagonal boxy shape. Single crochet, insert our stitch marker. Increase and single crochet. We're gonna repeat that sequence all the way around. Meet me back here once you are finished. And my very last stitch of this round is going to be a single crochet stitch. And moving on to the next round. For rounds five through seven, which is three rounds total, we're going to single crochet all around for a total of 24 stitches. Go ahead and pause the video and I will meet you back here once you are finished with that. Welcome back, we are now ready to begin round eight. If you're noticing that your piece is kind of coning like this, no pun intended, you're going to stretch out your piece gently and once you stuff it out, that should be self-resolved. For round eight, we're gonna begin our decreases and we're going to do single crochet, decrease, single crochet, a total of six times. We're bringing our stitch count back from 24 all the way down to 18. So I'm gonna make my initial single crochet and mark that first stitch of the round. 
do my decrease here. I'm doing my invisible decreases, so going through the front loops only. And doing our single crochet. Repeat that sequence all the way around. Our very last stitch of the round is a single crochet stitch. And for round nine, we're going to be working in the front loops only. So this is important to be able to distinguish what is the front loops versus the back loops. With regular medium worsted yarn, it's a little easier to see, but the tops of your stitches will create a V shape that run around the rim. And the front loops will be the ones closer to you, and the back loops are the ones further away from you. So round nine in front loops only, we're going to make three single crochets in each stitch. So I'm going to be sure to only pick up the front loop and make my first initial single crochet stitch. Don't forget to mark it with your stitch marker. And make two more in the same stitch. We're gonna do that all the way around. And what this will do is actually create a wavy edge because the stitches will kind of fold into each other because they get so bunched up. I kind of like to compare it to like crowding in your mouth with teeth. <laughs> Like if there is no room, these teeth are going to fold in on each other and become really crooked and wavy. And that's kind of what we're doing here. Meet me back here once you are finished. I have made my way around of the roughly part of our ice cream scoop and we're going to slip stitch into the first stitch and fasten off our pink color at this time. Pull up a loop, use our extra sharp scissors to snip off a tail. And we're going to be sewing this tail in later. Now we're going to insert our safety eyes. So we're going to insert them four stitches apart between rounds five and six. Counting from the center spiral, which is round, round one, there's two, three, four, five, and six. So we'll insert one eye there and then count one, two, three, four stitches. I'm going to flip my work over to the wrong side and insert the backing so that they are secure. And these safety backings are meant to stay on, and so this might take me a bit. To create the mouth, we're going to insert our needle with our short strand of brown yarn already attached uh, one round before, below the nose, and leave a short tail that we can tie a knot at the end with. And I'm just gonna make my smile one stitch wide. It's gonna be a really, really tiny smile. Um, and I'm just going to create a very subtle kind of curve. If you tug it too much, it'll just be like a straight line, which is also pretty cute. Um, but I'm just going to use my yarn needle to position it acor like according to how I like. So it's going to look like that. And then from the back side, we're going to tie our yarn tails into a knot. Now, if you don't want your smiles curve to shift around, then we're going to take a tiny dab of glue and you can secure it underneath and by tiny I mean tiny and there we have her next we're going to move on to the cone so I've created a slip knot in my sand colored yarn I'm going to insert my hook into one of the back loops left behind and insert our new color and pull through. And we're going to create our first single crochet stitch. Round 10, we're going to single crochet all around in the back loops only. Go ahead and pause the video and meet me back here once you are finished. We are going to stuff as we go, so I'm going to add a little stuffing once the cone gets a little narrower. And moving on to round 11. Round 11, we are going to do two single crochet decrease and two single crochet a total of three times. That's basically four single crochet and decrease three times, but I like to stagger my decreases so that they aren't as apparent. So we're going to crochet into the first single crochet stitch that we made from the previous round. That could be a little tricky to see, so don't forget your stitch marker. I'm going to do my second single crochet stitch, my decrease, invisible decrease, just going through the front loops only, 
and then finish this sequence with another two single crochet stitches. Repeat that all the way around and I'll meet you at the end. For round 12, we're going to single crochet all the way around. Remove your stitch marker, make your first initial stitch, and don't forget to put that back on. Go ahead and pause and again, meet me at the end. For round 13, we're going to do three single crochet decrease a total of three times. Make your first initial stitch and insert your stitch marker. That'll be one single crochet, two, three, and decrease. Oops, sometimes that happens and that's okay. And then a second time. One, two, three, decrease. There we go. It can be a little tricky to grab onto the yarn when it's this fluffy. And our last time, one, two, three, and decrease. Helps to use my finger to push it in there. Okay, we now have 12 stitches at the end of this round. Round 14, we are going to single crochet all around. Meet me back when you're done. I have just completed that previous round, and so this is a great time to pause and stuff now that our cone is getting a little narrower. I'm going to be using uh, my favorite polyfill here, which is Super Fluffy by Fairfield. And go ahead and just push that in, making sure to fill out the ice cream cone part, the ice cream scoop part, I should say. All right, and we're gonna leave a little bit of space to work with so that our hook isn't catching on to the stuffing. All right, and proceed. Round 15, we are going to single crochet, decrease single crochet, a total of three times. In other words, we're gonna be doing two single crochets and a decrease three times. First initial stitch, single crochet, add that stitch marker back. And then invisible decrease and single crochet. Do that again. Single crochet, decrease, single crochet. One last time, single crochet, decrease, and single crochet. All right, round 16, we're going to single crochet all around. And so meet me back here once you are finished. Round 17, we will be single crochet and decreasing a total of three times. First initial single crochet stitch, attach the stitch marker. There we go, decrease. Our second time and our third time. Round 18 we will single crochet all around and this would be a great moment to also stuff one more time. Attaching my hook around that loop again, or loop around the hook. <laughs> and making my first initial stitch. For this one, we don't need to add the stitch marker since there is only six stitches that we can count. That was one, two, three, four, 
five and six. Fast enough, so you're gonna make a slip stitch in the next stitch and leave a short little tail to sew. Snip that off. And you guessed it, we're gonna be adding a tiny bit more stuffing through that little opening. You can kind of use the back of your hook if you want to, to get into that crevice. To close that off, we're going to thread our needle with the yarn tail we just left. And then we're going to be going through the front loops only. So it's kind of hard to see in this blanket yarn, but there is the front loop and the back loop. You always want to go only through the front loop. That's going to allow us to cinch the hole closed and for minimal gaps to be visible. Super, super easy with these clover yarn needles as well. And once you have your front loops all threaded through, you just pull gently and there you go. I'm gonna bury my tail so that it's extra secure. You can trim off the top, the ends, and weave in your yarn tails from the ice cream cone as well. Now it is time to move on to the toppings. First, we'll be making the whipped cream, and as you can see, it kind of turns into a spiral and makes this nice twisty texture. To begin that, we're going to make a slip knot and chain 12. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Then working in the second chain from the hook, we're going to make three single crochets in each stitch down the chain. Stitch count for this doesn't really matter. What we're aiming for is to bunch up a bunch of single crochet stitches um, so that they start to layer over one another and that's what creates the curly cue. Depending on your tension, you might notice that yours starts turning really curly right away. Um, but no need to fear if yours is not curling yet. You can kind of see mine is, has gotten going there um, because we're going to manually kind of twist it together all at the very end. So I will meet you at the very end once you are on your last chain. I've just completed my very last stitch and so I'm gonna pull up a loop and cut the tail for sewing. And this is what it will look like once you are finished. So as you can see, it's starting to tighten up towards the tail end um, and you're gonna manually twist it up like this. And now I'm going to use my yarn needle and sew it into a loop first. So once I twist it all up, I'm going to find the other end and this is where I'm going to sew through to keep it in this shape. Don't worry about the other yarn tail. We're gonna end up burying that into the ice cream cone. Just go through it twice to be extra secure. We're gonna sew on our whipped cream now and you can either place it right on top like so or at a little angle. My other one was at a slight angle and so I think this one I'm gonna do right on top. So hold it down with your fingers. Once my whipped cream is secure, I'm going to weave my yarn tail back to where the other one is sticking out of and tie a knot to make it secure. 
and we're just gonna go ahead and bury these tails. You can either use your yarn needle or another thing I like to do is use the hook and just kind of push it in like this. For the cherry, we're gonna use red bulky yarn and an eight mm hook again. Make a magic circle and single crochet six times. Five and six. Okay. Now we're going to do single crochet increase a total of three times. So let's make our initial single crochet stitch and we'll insert our stitch marker here. Make an increase in the next stitch and repeat that sequence two more times. That was our single crochet and this is our increase, single crochet and increase. You should have a total of nine stitches. Round three, we're going to single crochet all around, so pause the video and meet me back when you're done. Round four, we will single crochet and decrease three times. So let's do that together. There's our first stitch. Place the stitch marker. And make your first invisible decrease. Okay. Single crochet, decrease. And last one, single crochet, decrease. And would you look at that? We won yarn chicken. <laughs> Remove your stitch marker. Slip stitch into the next stitch to fasten off and pull the yarn tail all the way through. The opening is large enough to stuff all the way at the end. And so I'm just going to lightly stuff it with a bit of stuffing here. You can actually get rid of some of that. And again, going through the front loops only, we're going to cinch this hole closed. One, two, three. This is a neat little trick you can do with these bent tip needles. You can go through multiple loops at once to save yourself time. Then I like to go into the center and go out round one, kind of cinch that to make it more ball shaped. You can either leave this tail and sew it onto the whipped cream or you can choose to hot glue it instead. For the cherry stem, we'll be using dark brown medium worsted yarn and a 2.75 crochet hook. Make a slip knot and chain eight. You can adjust the length as desired. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Then working in the second chain from the hook, we're going to single crochet down. So inserting my hook there. Oops. You don't want your yarn to split or it could look really messy. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. That looks about right. And then I'm going to create a long tail, snip it off, and we will be sewing this onto our cherry. Thread your yarn tail with your yarn needle and then I am going to make this the top here and just weave into the bottom, from the top to the bottom, I should say, a few times to secure it in place. And the same thing with the other tail. And you can go out where the other tail left and tie a knot before burying them both once again. A 
I'll be using my crochet hook to bury them. And there you have it. Again, you're welcome to sew it, but if you could take a shortcut, go ahead and take it. I'm going to press it firmly into the center. You're gonna to wanna to hold it in place for a good 10, 15 seconds, and that'll make sure it is nice and secure. Lastly, I'm going to arrange the little ruffles so that they are nice and symmetrical. Our little ice cream cone is finished. These are so easy to whip up, and honestly, I could not stop making them. And so we have a bunch of different variations. Check out the free pattern on Clover's blog.